Hello, citizens of planet Earth. Welcome back to another episode of the Mystery Dome. Now, today we are going to be talking about quantum locking. Quantum locking is a process that many of you probably don't know, unlike my other videos, which talk about things that you likely already know what they are. Quantum locking is something not a lot of people know. Um, quantum locking is essentially when, um, imagine it kind of like the Euclid, Euclid um, class of SCPs. Um, they can, objects that are quantum locked can only move when they're not being looked at. When you look at them, and they're in the view of another living, living being, they cannot move. They are frozen into rock or ice or whatever material. And um, it's a, a very interesting topic that a lot of uh, sci-fi explores. Uh, what the bleep down the rabbit hole, which is actually not a sci-fi, but a, kind of a extra to a film that talks about different types of... Uh, kind of talks about quantum mechanics a bit. It talks a little bit about quantum locking, about how an atom behaves differently when it's being observed as opposed to when it's not being observed. And Doctor Who actually has quite a few episodes on beings that are quantum locked, known as weeping angels, which are essentially beings that look like statues when you're looking at them, but if you blink or turn your head away or what else, um, they can move. And apparently, they are very fast. So you can literally blink or just turn your head away like that, and all of a sudden they've moved 30 feet. And, uh, uh, in canon, it's very... They're very aggressive towards humans. They feed off our time, energy, by dropping us to previous locations in history. And it's a very, very bad thing. But it, the concept of that is very interesting. It's the same concept with uh, SCP-173. Is it 153 or 173? I can't remember right now. But uh, it's the SCP that is nicknamed Peanut. And if you look at it, it just looks like a statue. But if you blink or turn your head away, it moves towards you. Um, and it's pretty much the same idea. It's, it's very aggressive towards humans, of course. But it's just basically the same idea as Doctor Who's Weeping Angels, or just any type of quantum-locked object. Now, it's only purely theoretical, because it kind of seems far-fetched that just looking at something can change how it behaves. A lot of people have tested if you can feel a stare or not, but... That has had inconclusive results. And it um, just seems really absurd to have something like that. Unless something is choosing not to be seen moving, which would be incredibly difficult to do. And it's um, not doing this according to scientific rules, it's just doing this out of... Uh, wanting to stay hidden. But we already see enough of that, and even that's not foolproof. Not by a long shot. But it's an interesting idea that it, it really, uh, you know, it, it, it can spark some thinking about that kind of stuff. Like, what if beings like that were to invade our planet? What if, you know, statues didn't come to life 
as we saw them, but much more stealthily. And it, it, it's just such a topic that's interesting to me. I know this is kind of a, more of my, one of more of my boring videos, and uh, probably end up, in, probably will end up being one of my shorter ones as well, but it's kind of an interesting topic. But, um, I mean, there are several theories out there that this could be real, that atoms could behave differently when they're being observed, um, and they could very much be right. I mean, atoms may behave slightly differently when we're not looking at them, but it's, it's just so linked to something that is so vast that we cannot comprehend it. It's, it's just something that, that humans cannot fully understand, if that makes any sense. No matter how hard we try, we probably would never, or we will probably never figure out if quantum locking can actually be a thing. And it, it just doesn't seem like something that would, you know, spark a lot of research. But I definitely think a few sci-fi shows explore the, the uh, frozen in time effect pretty well, as well as, you know, things like SCP and, uh, that kind of culture, they really, they really, uh, express that well. And, uh, well, I guess this is it. I, uh, it's very late tonight. Um, well, I will see you next time on the Mystery Dome, and thank you for watching.